If you want to create a new GitHub personal access token, but you don't know where to start, this video is for you. Welcome to this Three Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coded Dave and welcome to a new episode of the Three Minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet try and teach you something and all in just three minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today we talk about GitHub personal access tokens, PADs, and how to create them. But let's start the clock and get into it. Personal access tokens, or PADs, are an alternative to using passwords when you need to authenticate to GitHub for using its APIs, the command line interface, or any integration really. But let's see how to create one. To create a new personal access token in GitHub, just click on your profile picture, the one you can see on the upper right in any page, and from there, select the settings menu. Now, many people here think that personal access tokens are in the account security or in the account part, and this is why they don't know how to create them, because they are actually not there. You need to scroll down until you see these developer settings and click on it. Finally, in here, you have the personal access tokens menu and you can create one. As you can see, it lists all the personal access tokens you have with the time you last used them. To create one, just click on generate new token it asks for credentials, so insert your password, add a note or a name for it. And finally, you need to select the scope of the token. And this will depend on how you wanna use it and what you wanna use it for. You may need to have repo access, for example, or perhaps the workflow if you wanna use the GitHub Actions and so on and so forth. When you select the scope, let's say I want to do repo here, just click on generate token. And here you have your new token created. Don't worry, I will delete this so you will not be able to use it. But remember that you need to copy this before you refresh or close this page. Because once you do that, as soon as you click away, you will not be able to retrieve the value anymore. If you want to use a path to access resources owned by an organization that use SAML SSO, you need to authorize the access token. But before we see how to do that, hit the like button below if you're enjoying this video or you find it insightful. It will help this video to be recommended to other viewers and would mean a lot to me. If you want to use this token in an organization that requires SSO via SAML, you need to enable it. It's very easy. You just need to click on the enable SSO button over here and select which organization you want to authorize. Just click then on the authorize button and this will take you to the authentication page for that organization, whether you're using two-factor authentication, Azure Active Directory, Okta, or any other. And when you complete that, this token will be authorized to be used also on that organization. That's really, really easy, isn't it? Final note, remember that GitHub removes automatically the paths that haven't been used in about a year as a security precaution. And we're done, let's stop the clock. Today, I think I've stayed within the three minutes limits. Anyway, now you should have a good understanding on how to create any path you need for GitHub, but let me know in the comment section below if you have any more questions about this topic. Before we close, I have an announcement to make, which I'm very excited about. I've just launched my Patreon page, and that means that if you join it, you can get access to exclusive content like articles and videos that haven't been posted anywhere else, you can influence the content on this channel, you can get live Q&A and live chat with me, and even cooler, you can get consultation, one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, in which we can talk about anything DevOps, GitHub, or Azure DevOps. Just go to patreon.com slash coderdave, or you can find the link in the video description, visit that, and you can see the options available. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coded Dave. Oh.